Okay. Today's topic is... I was just interviewed for a documentary being made. And a lot of it was around feelings. How do I do... You know, I'm a positive creature. I'm always up. How do I stay always up? It's not, it's not about being always up. It's about acknowledging feelings for what they are. Not trying to hide them. Not looking at myself as something abnormal or something that's wrong with me. Not in any hurry to get through whatever that feeling is. And then with that feeling being appropriate because it's my body doing this, sensing this, alerting my antenna called my brain. What am I supposed to do to take action on this? What are you trying to tell me environment to my body, to my mind, and then out? What, what is going on? So am I ever depressed? Fuck yeah. Am I ever anxious? Yup. Am I jealous? Sure. Angry? Well, yeah. Prideful? Like, you name it. Yes. But am I ambitious? Hopeful? Grateful? In love? Yes, yes, yes. Most of the time. Sometimes those other feelings that we've been told there's something wrong with us. Or we can't feel that. You, you cannot let that in. You've got to push it away. Or we just don't like how it feels, which is cool. And we numb it with something like a vagina or a dick, alcohol, drugs, running, training with a trainer, self-help books, guru seminars, essential oils, pharmaceuticals. Silence, having a kid. There's all forms of medication, most of which are to try to either distract us from feeling something or to just not feel it at all and just keep moving on, keep moving on to the next thing. Feelings are messages. Feelings are the conversation that our body has with ourselves to let us know it either doesn't like or loves the environment it's in or that something inside needs to change or stay the same to prepare to survive and adapt in that environment and within. So when I feel down, when I'm crying, when I'm angry, when I'm... What's fantastic is when you become aware of your feelings as messages, as the conversation, you start to see how the rest of your body responds. So when I'm sympathetic dominant, I'm all ramped up. Am I hungry? No, I actually lost my appetite. Damn it. Was it easy for me to quiet down and calm myself with breath? No, I was actually, I could feel my heart beating, so my blood pressure rose. Interesting. Uh, sometimes when you're sympathetic dominant, you realize you can't get worked up or turned on. You're not as aroused. Shit. Pretty appropriate response. Sometimes when we're sympathetic dominant, we got cotton mouth or our breath smells or we're sweating. This is interesting things. You start to feel all the systems change per the feeling nothing's wrong with you there either it's supposed to for our survival so one acknowledge that feelings are appropriate and their messages two what is the message you're supposed to be getting sit with it stay with it for a while don't immediately call up the friend to try to see what's wrong with it or how to fix it or just sit with it just stop stop scheduling Stay with it. Check your environment out. Check your story prior to that feeling. What was going on with that that I would feel, oh, wow. Okay. Then you start to take an inventory of that feeling. You start to look at it as the plan and intelligent. And then you have a map for action. And it could be anything. It could be calling that person up that you're anxious about or upset about. It could be expressing love in some way. It could be getting outside. It could be doing something. It could be writing it down. It could be going ahead and going through that thing that you thought was your biggest fear. It could be moving the, it could be quitting the job. It could be having it. 
There's all these actions that you can go through predicated on your feels. So am I always up? No, but I'm always in action based on something that I've felt, something that I'm feeling. And I thought about it. There's not much I can do. There's not much I do throughout the day that isn't bound by some reason. It's rare that it's like, TJ, why are you doing that? I don't know. <laughs> There's always some reason behind it. And if we're honest, the reasons are pretty awesome. But that intention with purpose based on a thought that creates a feeling, those are powerful. And those feelings change your physiology. They change your body. They alert you to how you're supposed to live. And it's basically it. How you are supposed to live for you. Because there is no formula. But I get that a lot, man. And if we showed like Instagram and social media are like highlight reels. Except the ones that are honest. And they show you. They don't drum up tears to post a clickbaited, you know, thing. But they're just like, look. Feelings are real. It's this stuff all day long. But as long as we keep do it appropriately we should be going up your high is higher than the previous high ever was and your low is never as low as the previous one new insult bam here we go what am i feeling oh my god i'm bottoming out remember the stimulus has to be greater than whatever created the ptsd or the fret the fracture inside and that could be emotional or physical so to get an, a healing response we have to create something that's greater than whatever you experienced prior to that could be gnarly but now comes your belief in something greater than you to know that this is part of the deal. Your purpose and your reason. You surround yourself with a community to lift you up knowing that you're going to do the healing for you. They aren't going to fix you. Knowing that you gotta sleep and take naps. Knowing that you gotta get outside. Knowing that you have to meditate, breathe and pray. Knowing that you have to nourish yourself with real food from a local farm, making your own stuff from scratch. Knowing that you gotta move your body a lot. But you start to look at and interweave all these things together and those feels become a tour guide. <laughs> I always wanna flick off helicopters. I feel like I'm being observed. I'm sure it's just military running training ops, but I'm always like, what are you guys filming? Am I angry? Nah, just playfully. Playfully messing around. Your feelings become your tour guide. You become your own guru. And that's something we need to get back to is putting the power back in you not that you lack in anything because you lack in nothing all of it's within you but you must feel in order to heal <laughs> feels are crazy man some days every day is different that's what's awesome but every feeling is appropriate health is the default healing happens through feeling and what you're feeling is it <laughs> that's a good thing don't let anybody try to tell you something's wrong with you every time you're feeling something every time you express something every time you have a symptom of some kind something so right about all of that but take action because that's what it's triggering you to do is to act upon that and like i said pick that one thing based on that thought creating that feeling in your body you'll follow <sighs> let's enjoy this Damn, that move. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs>